Here's my uh, second hydrogen generator that I built this morning. I uh, tried it out a bit and it works a lot better than my previous model. Um, here's that tank that I had used to uh, make my first hydrogen generator. And it got the same two rods and the battery charger and all that stuff. Um, there's a battery charger over there. What I did was I just took two tennis ball uh, holders and put some holes in the lid and some hot glue around them to seal the areas where these rods slide in. And then right here is the uh, vent for the hydrogen to go out into the bubbler here. And I got a thermometer here. You can see it's about 104.5. 105 going back and forth between it. I was using it earlier today. And uh, there's a bubbler. And this line goes here into my tank, which I use to keep the gas underwater until it comes up to the surface and bubbles. And then we can actually ignite those bubbles with a cutting torch or a, a oxyacetylene welder torch, is what I've been using lately. Uh, let's see here. Why don't we go ahead and turn it on here. We'll go with 12 volts and 2 amps. And you can see it's starting to fog up there, the hydrogen. Here's the bubbler. And uh, I don't have this sealed yet because it's kind of temporary. But um, we can pull the uh, tube up here. Start to see some of the bubbles coming up there. Uh, let's go ahead and go with 30 amps. Start making it a little faster. There's the bubbler going faster. Um, temperature is about 104.5. Takes a little while to heat up. Uh, I had it up to 147. It's a small area, so that got a little too hot for safety's sake, so I had to shut it off and let it cool down. Uh, let's see, now that we're making hydrogen, let's go ahead and pop some of these hydrogen bu uh, bubbles here with a cutting torch or the oxyacetylene welder, whatever you prefer to call it. That's a cutting torch attachment there. This is a welding torch. Give it a little bit of gas here. Doesn't take much. Go ahead and light it. Come on now. There we go. There's your flame. Turn it down. Get it to just about there. And uh, let's see. Stick this right at about the surface. It's a little difficult to hold the camcorder and do this at the same time, but we'll do the best and hope the whole system doesn't explode. Okay, let's see. There, gotta get that flame out. Oh, there, there we go. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that again. There we go. Oh. That's basically it. Um flame has to be a little more intense to uh, stay lit when that hydrogen ignites so it blows the flame out. Uh, let's go ahead and shut this off. Well before we shut it off you can see the temperature is up to 108 degrees. Uh, we'll go ahead and shut this off here. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all that's to it. Very simple. Very easy to build. Eventually, I want to get my uh, Kubota B7100 diesel running on it somewhat, but that's going to take some more research and figuring. I have a hole drilled in my uh, air intake. Yeah, you probably can't see it, um, but it's right up in here. This is the underside of the air filter. I got the hole right up in here. 
and uh, I hooked it up to it a bit and the engine seemed to run a little different so I know that it's getting in there and it's using it but um, I'm gonna have to generate a lot more than this little system here will in order to make that amount of hydrogen um, it's pretty much it with this one uh, eventually I want to get a uh, Tupperware container something a little bigger and get a lot more of that uh, steel exposed to the uh, water with baking soda in it generate more hydrogen uh, very simple and as far as I know if we use this energy in the right way we can by far generate more electricity than what is used to generate this hydrogen